Let's talk about one of the big sins that we don't talk about that much, presumption. I am Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. Okay, there's this sin called presumption, and we're going to look at it on three different ways in which we we can commit this sin and get ourselves in trouble. So final presumption is basically this, and it's it's probably the one that maybe we're more familiar with, just this idea that, okay, I'm going to live my life, and I'm going to sin, and I'm going to do all the sort of things, and I'm going to presume that I am going to be able to like repent and go to confession uh, before I die on my deathbed. So I'm going to, I'm going to do all the, the things. I'm going to live my life again, but I'm going to presume that at the end I can get the confession. I can like sneak my way uh, into heaven without really having to try, try and follow the Lord at all. Like, it's problematic for every reason. Something can be problematic. Um, first of all, right? Like, yeah, it's about relationship and loving God, and it's not just about sneaking into heaven. So that's, that's one of them. Uh, like, number two, right, is um, we just don't know when it's going to be our time uh, to leave this earth. It's to presume that we can control that and we can, we can, that's just, that's just not reasonable. That's just not how it works. And then lastly, like, um, we need grace. We need grace to come to the Lord. We need grace to come to, uh, to confession and to his mercy and to know who he is. And to think that a life of sin is not going to affect you and a life of sin is not going to harden you and that somehow after all of this life, you're still going to think you need God. That is a big time presumption. So the sin of presumption, the final presumption, uh, if you're watching this, I think, I think we're on the same page. You just can't presume that you're going to be able to, to just sneak in at the end of your life. And again, we just don't know. We never know when the Lord's going to call us home, right? Uh, number two, uh, this, this sin of presumption, I think we probably get in trouble with a lot more often. And really, it's I'm presuming that Either I'm going to be strong enough to enter an occasion of sin without falling, or I presume that I'm going to be able to commit venial sin without crossing the line and going into mortal sin. There's just this flirtation with the edge, the flirtation with sort of the death of the soul. And why is that problematic? First, and and, and again, it's like, okay, here's a very common example. Like, okay, I, Maybe somebody struggled with, again, like pornography or something like that. Okay, well, I'm going to go on, I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to be able to look at this type of picture. I'm going to be able to do this type of thing. Or I'm going to, this occasion of sin, I'm going to have access in a private place on my own. But you know what? Even though for the last 10 years, this has led me to one sort of, one end, one fall. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm going to be strong enough. It's like, we just forget how dependent we are on grace. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Like we absolutely need grace to be faithful. We need grace to resist temptation. We need grace to grow. We need grace for conversion. And so as soon as we are intentionally um, rejecting grace, we're getting ourselves in a very vulnerable place, right? To, to, to freely commit venial sin is to poke some holes in the cup and the grace starts to, to, to spill out. To, to, to um, intentionally like say no to like the invitation of the Lord like that's already the rejection of grace. And we're going to presume that somehow once we get to the edge of whatever temptation is, like we presume we're going to be strong enough there. Um, but we've already drained ourselves of like the grace. And we're presuming the Lord's going to give us the grace there to be okay. Um, but what if the grace to be faithful was the grace not to enter into the temptation? And now we're going to be in that, that occasion of sin and in that temptation, and we're going to be really vulnerable and weak. We have to just be careful with that, and we have to reject uh, the lie that I'm going to be okay. I'm going to flirt with sin. I'm going to even commit a little sin. But then at the end, I'm going to like be able to, to draw the line. How little grace do I actually need to not fall into mortal sin? Like We need to have the opposite approach, and we need to be like, okay, I want all the grace. I want all the grace. I want all the grace. And so saying yes to every invitation, including not committing venial sin, including keeping ourselves out of um, the occasion of sin, like that's, that's the sweet spot. That's, that's where we want to be. All right. And then, and then lastly, it's this, uh, the sin of presumption, which basically, um, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to commit this sin because I know I can get to confession or I'm going to commit this. I'm going to repeat the sin. I'm going to, um, I've already had a fall. I'm going to binge on this sin because I already have to confess it. And so, and so this is like this, this kind of this taking advantage again of like of the Lord's mercy, of knowing the mercy is there, knowing I'm already going to go seek it out. Therefore, 
I'm going to sin or I'm going to repeat sin. That's the sin of presumption. And, and it's a sin that when we go to confession, we're going to need to confess as well. And again, why is that problematic? For all the reasons. Problematic because it, it just, it, it totally is disconnected uh, from like an authentic relationship with God and, um, and, and being faithful out of love, not just out of not having to go to confession. It's, um, it's a sin against his mercy and taking advantage of his mercy. It forgets that the effects of sin are real. And as we commit sin, as we repeat sin, even though uh, we are forgiven, it, it, it disorders us more and it disorients us more and it makes us more likely for us to commit that sin again or to, to hurt people in the midst of these actions. We just really want to, to, um, to ask the, for the Lord uh, to have a, like a holy reverence for his mercy and, and the availability of his mercy and to not fall into temp this temptation to sin because we know we can get to confession. Um, and also like to ask for the Lord's grace that if we do have a fall, uh, we again don't take, don't the, we don't allow the devil to get sort of more, gain more ground by repeating the sin because we already have to go to confession, right? So this is the, this is the sin of presumption, the final, like final presumption. Okay, we got to start following the Lord now. Um, this sort of daily temptation to flirt with sin and temptation, like, like we need, we need to like really be like hoarders of grace and to, to drink bountifully of grace and, and all the grace we need, we, the Lord's offering we want to receive. And then lastly, like we don't want to, to, to fall into this temptation of presumption that takes advantage of the, the availability uh, and the humility of God and His mercy. Let's, let's thank the Lord for His goodness. We thank you for His, let's thank Him for His daily invitation and the good news that he's always inviting us deeper um, each and every day. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. God bless y'all.